Uh, okay, so not DK Bowser, we're getting um, Barzar Ganondorf. Ooh, that sounds fun, actually. And looks like they're just getting right into it. So, okay. Holy shit. Overestimating the utility burst grenade? I mean, we sure as shit might be, but it's also going to be like in a totally different engine. And uh, there might be a lot of different shit that happens. What is like going on, actually? Um, yeah, I am sure Chris is the Ganondorf. Um, Zack's Charizard just came swinging out the gate. I've actually never seen it before. That's super sick. What happens if you ledge cancel the burst grenade? That's, uh... Oh, the Tipman! Ooh, that's a good fucking Tipman, actually. Oh, he almost set up for a back air or a down tilt edge guard. Goes for an up throw. Is that going to kill? Probably not. Good spacing. Forward throws him back off. He wants to set up something. Probably looking for a back air. And Chris goes too low with the side B. He doesn't grab the ledge. Is everything sounding okay, guys? Everything is uh, well balanced and stuff. Music's not too loud or anything. Sounds okay, cool. Oh yeah, looks like uh, Mimic and um, Rigatoni are going to get their match underway. How was my day? Oh, thank you for asking. It's been really good. Um, it's been pretty chill, actually, before I started streaming. Didn't do a whole lot. Got the, uh, the Jared video highlight uploaded. Jared highlight video uploaded. Ooh! an unsafe up B. Doesn't sweet spot. Gets punched. Good to do. How about you, Jean-Marie? How about you? How was your day? What you been up to? Okay. Doesn't overcommit with the up B. Just goes for... Uh... Oh, they took that out, right? The chain grab. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look. You can't get any more regrabs. Oh, get bit. He's not going off stage, and I really think he should be. Comes back with another jump. Nice tech. Doesn't count for it. Doesn't cover the roll in, and now Chris is back in. Well, he's off stage again. Oh, that was a risky down B, I think. <clears throat> Just grinding melee, nice. Is that gonna kill? Yeah. Sends him off the top, actually. Possible he might have been able to survive it, but with a little bit more like uh, horizontal DI to the right. But that was tight. That might have just been kill percent. I am really interested in this Charizard. This is cool. I like watching this. I didn't know he had a Charizard, and that looks pretty solid. Sorry, yeah. Uh, hi, Kyle. This is um, this is a tournament, uh, a Saskatchewan Netplay tournament that I'm watching, sort of hosting, and I'm currently streaming winners semis between Phoenix and Gamer Zach. This is the first one, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna try and keep it always on Mondays, yeah. How do you join? Uh, you have to live in Saskatchewan. Game one, going to Gamer Zack. Nice. Alright, he's banning Wario Land and Where the fuck is that? Well that's uh that's you don't have you're not able to join, unfortunately. <laughs> uh Saskatchewan, Canada. It's a prairie province in Canada. Kinda up north. Up north from the States. You may not be from the States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Chris goes to Smashville. New Jersey? I mean, North Jattleford? Definitely in the States. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that forward throw. That was not the most stellar DI. Oh, but the Edgehog. Nice. 
North uh, North Battleford is a city in Saskatchewan, and I don't. Oh, he just goes all the way down and steps on his face. Very good. Almost gets down smash, but the uh, the jab comes out first. Yup, yup, yup. No di coming out from Chris. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. I think a heat wave might have been probably the better option there. I think he would have been able to recover from it. Nice couple of percent building moves from Chris there. He's in shield a lot. Side B's out the corner. Or down B's out of the corner. Okay. Fuck Heat Wave. He should have Thunder Punched. Yeah, Thunder Punch off stage. Absolutely. <gasps> he gets the balloon! Gamer Zach officially a gamer. This is actually a really buttery connection, too. This is very nice. No frame drops or anything. King hasn't gone over like 15. Avoids the Titman Gimp. Tournament winner gets uh, Zach very little off that, though. Nice back throw. Doesn't get the tech chase with the up smash. Ooh. Tries to come down and gets punched off the top. That was, uh, that's really surprising to see. I think he definitely could have survived that if he DI'd a bit more right. Actually, it's really surprising because he went off the top and Charizard's heavy as hell. So maybe I'm wrong as shit. I don't know. Nice back air into... Back throw into up smash there. Did I just say nice back air by instinct? Oof. Ooh. Goes down for it again. Okay, comes back up. Clips him that back air, sends him off stage. He's scouting. Gets forward tilt. Oh, Chris just goes too low. Hmm. Chris not DIing the back throw down and away. It's basically the only one of uh, Charizard's. Oop! Suicide coming out from Gamer's Act. It's basically the only one of Charizard's um, throws that you can't quite react to. So usually what you want to do is. Um, you see if I can't show me anything. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Put my hair back on it. <laughs> Ah, that's fine. Oh, you're going out there. Yeah, we're taking Doggy Dog for a walk. Okay. Oh, good. Covering party. No, that's, oh, uh, me. that's Jeremy. Nah. Ah, he comes in for the side B, but Gamer Zack is aware. Spaces it with a forward tilt. Oh, that forward smash does not connect with the hand. Dunk wishes Doggy Dog a good walk. Thanks, Dunk. <laughs> He's gonna have us. She's gonna have a good walk. That is a forward air. Yo, nice. I was gonna. I, Scott was like, "Where do you want to go?" And I was like, "Well, was in my brain, I'm like, I want to go to Chief Whitecap." But now you fucking but then don't. My betting is like, don't go to fucking Chief Whitecap. Don't don't fucking go to Chief Tickcap. Yeah. <laughs> Charge up, smash on the balloon. Yeah. All right, three oh four mimic over perspective. Okay. Perfect. Goes for the fireball that misses. Oh! Connects with the forward smash. Chris is going tryhard mode now, bringing out the Bowser. I don't think there's much he could have done there for the ed for that edge guard. Maybe uh, fly up a little bit higher and back here. See you, baby. Bye. See you, baby. Have fun. Oh, we're gone. Yeah. Oh, look at we gone. Oh, we're gone. All right. Oh, no hitbox there. Interesting. Oh, but that back hit. Uh, the score is 2-0 for Gamer Zack right now. Um, Chris was playing uh, Ganondorf at first, and he switched to Bowser now. 
Oh, 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 power shield. Oh, and he down tilts the recovery. Oh, wow, and that F smash actually reaches that far. That's incredible. Oh, recovery platform draw. Fair. Quick little first hit down tilt. Doesn't get the ledge hog. Interesting. And he just fists him in the face. Nice. Up smashed his shield on a platform and jab locked him when he got pushed off. Nice. Yeah. Actually pushing people off of platforms in this game is, uh... I'm starting to get a lot of use out of it. <gasps> is that going to be a gimp? Mmm, he should have just grabbed ledge. Goes for an up smash, but... Er, uh, up air, but uh, it doesn't happen. Oh, almost happens that time there. That's not going to kill... I think he probably would have wanted to chase with an up, uh, with a down B if he was going to get there, like a, a Koopa jump or whatever. Fireball just barely missing. Oh, nice, nice punch. Giving him a space, giving him a space. Okay. Nair's out, yep. Classic Bowser. And that forward air should kill, yep, there we go. Chris looking a bit dominant now on his main character TM. I wonder if we'll see the Donkey Kong come out from uh, Gamer's Act, but uh, I think he's probably rocking the Charizard. I'm not sure. Ooh. Yeah, Nair has armor. A um, lot of Bowser's fucking moves have armor, man. It's, uh... Eh. It's awful. It's really... Anyway. Let's go for the down tilt. Gets an up smash. No kill. Needs to get something. Oh, gets clipped by the fucking ground hitbox. Smashes down B. I don't think Fireball does, no, because I think I've hit uh, Bowser out of the startup for Fireball. Fields in time. Oh, he's going for the bite. Okay, he's looking for an F-Tilt. Oh! Doesn't respect the range on Koopa Claw. But waits for him to do something and up throws him for the kill. He's still down two stocks. He's down a stock and he's at high percent. This is going to be rough. It's just a brief flash of it? What do you mean? Like, uh, it looks like there's an overlay, and that's the Chris classic. Just spam forward tilt. And that, uh, that does get him that game. Bands from Dreamland and FD coming out. Okay. Just a few armor frames, yeah. There might be a different overlay effect. It might not necessarily be the, uh, armor overlays, basically. Uh, uh-oh. Okay. Uh, did Chris really just not react in time to that, or... or? Oh, well. <gasps> uh, yeah, this is fine, actually. I, I, I super don't think, um... Squirrel Boy is here right now. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to, uh... <laughs> keep him unspoiled on some of the Trails in the Sky music, and I've got a lot of that going on. Oh, fireball, but he rolls into it and uh, threw it, basically. Okay. Yeah, you... You know what? I'm not positive, Dunk. Uh, you might be right, but... <clears throat> Yo, let's go Steven. Steven314... 3-1 uh, Steven over Mike. Nair has four frames of armor when the hitbox first comes out. When the first hitbox comes out. Okay. Oh yeah. That actually looked like a fly to me. If it hadn't been for the sound effect, I might not have known. That's a good fireball. Oh man, I just realized we're still on first stock here on Delfino's secret between both of these characters. And he gets fucking assed! He gets thicked. Okay, alright. He's hitting an invincible target, but that does not stop Chris from running his usual tricks. Roll in, down smash. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Zack is going to adapt to it. Also, notably, he uh, he did stay Charizard. Um, which is interesting. Uh, I wonder if he's going to adapt to it. Probably, oh, Sour Spot's it. Bowser's too big. He needs to pull back a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Ooh, traps him with the fireball, forces him to pick a get-up option, and then uh, just uh, forward airs him. I think, yeah. Zach's been playing Zard like almost exclusively. Okay, cool, nice. Oh, <gasps> he caught him out of the thunder punch. Zero, and suddenly we're fucking 
four to one? Are we gonna see a four stock? No. Hey! No. <laughs> That's super funny. Holy shit. Ah, oh, here we go. Chris is fucking cooking. That's really cool. I did not know Zach was been has been playing Zard so much. Interesting. Are we gonna see a four stock? Zerp. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Mm, yeah, no. Yeah. I was going to say I would have liked to see a fly chase, but uh, honestly, with Bowser and you're at like 100. Thunder Punch is basically Wizard's Foot. Yeah, it's impossible to edge cancel is the thing. Um, they basically wanted a, like... I, I don't know. I don't think the aerial version is really good. They wanted a replacement for Flamethrower and a nice quick burst kill option. Or a burst movement slash kill move for Zard on his neutral B is cool, but in the air it goes straight down and it goes very, very fast. And it's it's kind of unintuitive that it can't be edge cancelled. And I hope that Zach knows that, but if he doesn't, then that's fair too. Punched. Mm, that bad grab range coming out to uh Oh, oh, oh! Chris actually hit me in a, in a set with the fucking fireball bite when, and like I think it was completely intentional I just felt very outplayed. It was gross. Okay. Alright, what's he got? Nothing. Okay. No. Nothing. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, holy shit, he put his face right there to get fucking bit. Okay, waits out the fireball. Again, he's having trouble sweet spotting this, um, this forward air on Bowser. He needs to pull back and be a little bit higher, I think. But I think if he just pulls back, he'll be fine. Trying to space these tail whips, or these tail attacks. He's not finding any. Okay. That ledge grab box coming out, yep. He's playing it fairly smart, actually, I say, as he, uh... Stadium skate. Yeah, I'm not sure why they keep going here. I think this is the L alt. Um... Yeah, because the R alt is like Radiant Stadium or some shit. Uh, I'm not sure why they're... I'm not sure who or why they're holding L. Oof. No way. Oh, okay. No Thunder Punch coming out. He learned his lesson. Nairs through the forward air. That's actually incredible that that fucking uh, did not break the armor or whatever. Okay, there we go. Oh, it comes up too high. Gotta make sure to cancel that glide, I think. Up throw. Into nothing. Gonna get hit by down B. Okay. Roll and grab. Forward air because that's free. Forces him low. Okay, all right. Uh, grab, back throw, yep. Gets the correct DI. Oh, a heat wave almost coming out, but doesn't uh, doesn't land. No, that wasn't safe. Ooh. Uh, this is game five here, actually. And it looks like Chris is running away with it. Oh, is he dead? No. Catches him again. Jesus Christ. Chris's Koopa Claw. I swear to fucking god, he has some of the best Koopa Claws in Bowser main history. Like, fuck. I literally talked to people and be like, we have a fucking Bowser here, and his Koopa Claws are actually, like, incredible. Ooh. A little bit early on that back air, and he gets forward aired and loses stage control. I'm actually really surprised that there was no hitbox there, but yeah, okay. Oh, oh, he just runs up and up throws him. Gets the kill, okay. <laughs> Mike, you fucking said that before I even saw it. Oh, 